What's up guys, I'm back with another Ultimate Team video for you guys. So, in this video, it's going to be the starting of my NCAA Ultimate Team series. So, since Madden is coming out really shortly, this uh, this Ultimate Team thing isn't going to be uh, like quite out a lot. Because most of my focus is going to be on Madden. So, of course, since it's a new game coming out. But I'm going to be hoping to get out uh, this NCAA Ultimate Team series about three times a week. Just to mix it in with Madden, just so... Everything I do is not man, and just because I like to change it up a bit, just so I can have some NCAA in it, and because NCAA is a really good game and I enjoy playing it. So, in this series, I'm not going to be doing the pack thing. I might do that in uh, Madden Ultimate Team, or I might even just save that for FIFA's Ultimate Team when FIFA comes out. But in this series, I'm just going to be doing a road to the championship, which you see on most people's channels. That's what they're doing in NCAA and in Madden is a road to the championship. So in this series, I'm going to be doing a road to the championship and hopefully going until I get to the last division and win that championship. Unless this series starts to fade away once we get later into the road into Madden and into FIFA. Because in Madden, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a specific series like Road to the Championship. I might just do like uh, uh, just episodes of different things I do, kind of like what Anto de Boss did if you guys watch his channel. He does different kinds of things. He just puts out episodes like one episode, two episode, three episode, and he's not going for a certain thing. He's playing games, he's opening packs, he's uh, doing collections. So I might just do that for Madden, but for NCAA, I'm going to be doing a Road to the Championship. And as you can see, this is my starting team. I picked Georgia Tech because I really enjoy their, I really like their uniforms and I want to use their uniforms, but I totally forgot that their offense is a full out option offense and I didn't enjoy that. I kind of struggled in the first couple of games because their offensive playbook is so weird that they have so many motions and their option plays are about like fake, fake enough. They're all triple options, but they also have like uh, formation sliders and and all that kind of stuff and even their passing plays are so weird they only have like three guys and the motions in the running and the passing game are so weird that it's kind of hard to get used to that playbook especially if you're using a bronze team so after the first couple of games I decided to switch out that playbook just because it was too confusing to start out with and I'm not really a big guy on all this crazy triple option plays I just li like to do regular runs like power O's and HB stretches and they don't have that in the Georgia Tech playbook so as you can see here, I got a, just a bronze team, and I'm versing a really, really good team. That's the one trouble that I might have with this series, is that even though I'm in Division 1, the teams that I'm versing are still phenomenal teams. Like As you can see here, this guy's got on Andre, Andre Ware at QB. He's got Eddie George and Herschel Walker, both on the opposite sides of each other at running back. He's also got AJ Green in his third wide receiver. He's got Tim Brown, the legendary card, and he's also got a Randy Moss. So even though I'm in the first division, this guy's team is should be in one of the way higher divisions, like close to a final team. Also his defense, all elite players. Like this guy's team was all around amazing. For a first division guy, I don't understand. He must be opening packs or just going down, but that's the trouble I'm gonna have with this bronze team. So later on in the series, maybe in the next episode, I might be getting coins from my other account, like 25,000, just so I can get a little team of lower gold players and silver players, just so I can kind of compete, but in this, I actually was competing really well in the first two games with this playbook. It was harder with these playbooks. I like the defense. The defense is regular, but the offense is just so weird that it was hard to get my offense rolling. But um, I compete really well in these first two games. I was impressed with how close the games actually were with what I was given to work with. But for the rest of these series, I'm going to be doing a live commentary on the game. So... I'm not going to be just talking about the games like I am right now, but I just wanted to talk about the games right now just so I can tell you kind of what this series is going to be about. It's a Road to the Championship series and what I'm going to be doing in Madden, which is probably just the episode things. And Madden comes out in, two, well, it comes out in two days. It comes out on Friday for me since I have season tickets, so I'll be coming out with Ultimate Team stuff early for that and career mode. But for right now, I'm just doing my NCAA for these next couple of days, and I have a couple of other things. And also... I'm not sure if this is going to come out before I live stream the winner of the giveaways, but if this comes out before the live stream of the giveaways, um, I'm doing that tonight. So, But I think the live stream of the giveaways is going to be before this video, so you guys probably know who already won, and hopefully I've I've been talking about the person in the inbox is below, and that was a big play right there. I'd pick off at the end of the second quarter because if he got that, he's in field goal range, and he would have put up a field goal, and he would have been up two possessions, but... It was a huge play just to get that interception, just so I can keep the game at a one-possession game going into halftime. So, what I'm going to be... Sorry here, guys. Sorry. Um, uh, so, as you can see, I get a huge play. Massive play. Nine seconds left. 
it's a huge play to get with one second left in the quarter. And um, so I'm just going to line up for a field goal here just to kick the field goal just so I can get the game closer than it is right now. And uh, so as you can see, I have a bronze kicker. So I was kind of scared of taking this field goal, kind of iffy if I was going to hit it or not. But as you can see, coming up, I hit the field goal. So it comes down to a four-point game. So this game was actually very close. And the next games in my series, are, I've already recorded a couple of them. So the next video is not going to be live stream, but the rest of them will be because I've recorded a couple ones. Those ones get really interesting. Those games are really close and really like very close to watching here as you can see i didn't show any third quarter action because nothing happened the score stayed the same we just punted back and forth stopping each other on offense but he goes deep with to randy moss and i had no